symbol of elegance. The beauty that pierced the heart of men and gladdens the heart of the king. My God, my one and only daughter. <laughs> oh my God, my love. Thank you. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Your beauty <laughs> is just gloomy. By Mom, you have a sugar coated oh. tongue that can <laughs> melt anything. I'm glad my dear is because you have the beauty that can make any prince kill. Of course. Any you. prince, my dear, can kill for you. I know. Of my course. one and only girl sister. Mom. My people, you're the gist. Of course you know your daughter. I cannot settle for less. My dear, it's not every politician that gets to be an in-law to the president of this great country, my dear. I know. Do you know how much that will help us politically and otherwise? <laughs> Mom, and that's the reason I accepted the proposal. <laughs> yes. Go on. Thank you. <laughs> yes, Tell me, how is my would-be son in doing? Mom, he's doing fine. He's doing very, very fine. Good. As a matter of fact, we are actually going to run a test in three days' time. Oh. Yes, Mom. I don't think that's anything to worry about. But for me, Senator Joy Williams, <laughs> nothing, nobody under the song I that's know you, me Mom. from oh, becoming you. an in-law to the president of the Now, who do we have here? <laughs> Maurice! Wow. How are you? I'm so fine. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Oh my god, sister, you look so beautiful. Are you serious? Yeah. Mm, right. I'm blushing. <laughs> blushing. So how are you doing? What are you doing in this country? I mean, you're supposed to be in the US. Oh, come on. I came to chill for a while. Aren't you happy to see me? Oh, liar, liar. <laughs> He came in here to see his girl. Mom! I don't know. He thinks I don't know. Mom, how oh. did you know that? <laughs> I'm your mother, remember? Oh my god. Oh, oh whatever. He came to chill. He came the, to chill. I know. Mom, the most important thing <laughs> is I have my sister here and she's so beautiful. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. Auntie, are you at the talk to sis? What did I go do for you? My master make her tell you, say, I beg. May you give me Gary 500. She go give you the money back. She will give me the money after. The one that I collect before I don't pay. Auntie, I beg, no vex. No be rice I want, not Gary. Tell your master I need to give that credit. Now, now open this shop for me. Oh, if you can't carry me and my children and go for credit now, since now your papa opened this shop for me. Eh? She will give you the money back, I beg. I back come off my shop, I don't like bad markets this morning. I don't like bad luck at all, I said, yes, so. Auntie, I beg. Oh, yeah, they go. Carry your bad luck, they go. Come off my shop. This element I'm not going to rest because of credit, credit, credit every day for waiting now. Go on now. Every day credit. Everything credit, credit, credit. No, no, go pass for this place. Go see your max scan and buy first and go chop. Eh? I've been a, I have got to come this world. Now I can't close my market. I'm not going to sell again because of Funa. I know I have got anybody come this world. I'm going to allow me to make a rest. How about? What, what can now? Uh -uh. No, sure. She's not agree. She beg her. She won't call police. You see what? For Gary? Not be even rice. White Gary. If you see the shout. She say we no get money, making you know the chop. Now you can't come back. Mm -mm. I was sitting there. Is it a crime to owe? Yes, it is a crime to be indebted when the time for you to pay back has elapsed. Give me my money. You promise to come to the table. You did not I come. don't have it, Apollonia. I don't have it. You don't but have I will it. pay. You must give me the money now. It can't happen. Give me a chance now. What can we say? Come on, pay me money. I promise to pay you. When? Now! When I have the money, I will pay you. After all, it was your husband that gave me the money. Hey! Now I know the reason for the delay. Huh? Apollonia, is it a crime to owe? Yes, it is a crime to owe when you're not paying your money. You must give me. I will give you what to do. I will give you what to do. Okay, you want to pay my money. You want to pay my money. Stop him. 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 I 
Dr. Ken here is my childhood friend and also uh, son to the late Minister of Health, Professor Ben Tainer. And um, Doc, here is Nadia, um, the only daughter to the Senator Joy uh, Williams and um, a woman after my heart, uh, somebody who I say is a proper embodiment of beauty and um, my fiance. She's extremely beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> so tell me, <clears throat> from which of the planet did you get her from? Um, let me think, um, let me think. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I actually found her here on Earth, but I had to look real deep. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 Doctor, nice to meet you. Meet you. You know, the reason we're here is to run a test, right? Yeah. And I hope my fiancé has really intimated you on that. Yes, he has, he has. Yeah, um, Doc, what it is is that um, when we met initially, we did have a test done, a blood test, that is. Uh, but of course, you understand my father, and he's been inquisitive and he's cautious ways, has insisted that we have the blood test redone, and this time around with a facility test. Well, for blood test, it can easily be taken care of here in the hospital. Okay. As for fertility test, she has to be in her menstrual period. And as for you, you need to provide your sperm. Well, I actually came prepared. Um, I'm on my period. But I don't know about him. Maybe he has to go home and come with the specimen. The cells might die off on his way back here. So I suggest he provide that here in the hospital. How? How? Well, that is left for him to figure it out. The most I can do right now is to excuse you here in my office and you provide the spam. <laughs> okay, uh, it's funny, but okay. Um, we'll do as you have instructed, Doc. Uh, with regards to the results, um, I'll be leaving the country in less than 24 hours and I do not know when I'll be back. So I please implore that my fiancé here gets the results, or better still, you send it to her. What do you think, darling? Yes, fine. Since I'm around, I could just come and pick it up. Well, that's okay by me. So, Great women! We are here! Great women! We are here! Great, great women! We are here for you! Yes. Indeed, today is a special day. Yes. To rejoice and make merriment. Cause... Our daughter, wife, Senator Joy Williams, has brought us good news. Let's hear her out. Great women, we are here. Indeed, it's a beautiful day because I indeed brought a good news. Because in a month's time from today, the president of this country, his son, and is his whole entourage will be taken to the all roads leading to our village, to our community, to our state, for the traditional rites and marriage ceremony of my beautiful daughter, like you all know, my bright morning star. Mm. And it will be in that same hand that I will be announcing to you, my great women, my intention for the seat of the governor of this state come next election. Yes. And my dear, with the president as my in-law, the race is as good as one. It's like a bright morning star mm. coming to us in the night. Thank you. Thank you. As beautiful. I have something to say. I have something to say. Hi. You are all hypocrites. Hey. All of you. From the chair lady to the so called senator. Mm. Yeah. And the least about you. Hypocrites, sit down, Apollonia. What kind of insult is this? Who gave you the right to talk to everybody here like this? Sit down. Leave the frustrated woman to talk. Leave her to talk, Apollonia, talk. Leave the frustrated woman to talk. Joyce, you can go ahead, rant, and call me as many names as you wish. That's your problem. But thank your God that you are not sitting close to me. Or what would you have done? Or what, Apollonia? How 
Have you forgotten how I used to beat you? Have you forgotten? Please, man, please listen to me. Leave this one. You think I have stopped? How many? Or you think I can't do that anymore because I'm a senator? Don't mind those who are ranting. Yes. So let me ask you. How many years has she been the senator? Four, Four years. years. Four, Four years. solid years. Yes. And yet she did not bring any good thing to this community. Not 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 right. 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 Check it out. Your children, my children, in the primary school, they study in an open classroom. Yes. yes. They have yes. less house. Yes, sir. You have your children. You are right. Yes. She may be buying you a click address, so. Let me finish. All the major roads leading to this community, none of them is motorable. True. We have a senator. True or false? True. True. Okay. I want to ask you this one question. The answer will come from you. Check yourself. Do we have any health center in this community? No. You see what I mean? All thanks to private hospitals. We patronize them. With the little money we make from our farms, our petty trading, we use them to patronize private hospitals because of our health. And yet we have a senator. And now she wants to run for the seat of the government. God, oh, this whole state is in your hands. Sit down. Sit down. I, sit down. I have a seat, I will sit down. Sit down. But the truth must be told. The truth must be told. I thought you were only hungry. Yes. Now I can see you have also gone blind and deaf. Yes. Have you forgotten how I've been feeding families with bags of rice every Christmas season, every season in this state? Have you forgotten? Women, are we also foolish? No. Oh. You see it? Rice. 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 See you. Oh. They used to buy over our husbands with bottles of beer to vote for the wrong candidate. Tell her. Am I lying? No. no. Now they have come over to the women to start buying us with cup of rice. Cup of rice. What did the Bible say? Man shall not live by bread. No. Sit down. Are you going to be bought over by a cup of rice? No. Every four years. One cup of rice. A mistake. I don't, I don't know any chief. He only wants you to show him the direction to Chief Adali's house. He's just straight down this road by the right. Please, you tell that to Chief. Yourself, please. Hmm? Chief is waiting. First, I want to apologize for harassing you with the car. It's nothing, sir. I should have watched my way while I was passing. Now, what will a beautiful young woman like you be thinking along the road 
Nothing in particular, sir. I I'm fine. Sir, your... My bodyguard, you mean to say? Yes, sir. He said you wanted me to show you the way to Chief Adaji's house. Exactly. It's just straight down the road. You go by the right, and then the big mansion there, that's his house. You can't mistake it. You sound very well read. Thank you, sir. I should be on my way. Um, excuse me. Um, would you just have some things? No, sir. No, sir. I can't accept it, sir. No, 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 no. Feel free, please. You just should feel free. And, uh, please, just have my complimentary card in case you need me. Feel free. By the way, I am Chief Lawson. What is the name? Sonia. Sonia? Oh, what a nice name. Please. to get married to him. Look, it's not my choice, okay? Father demands that. Of course you have a choice. You could have told him you aren't ready to settle down. We are the president's children. Doesn't that mean anything to you? What has that got to do with us? Look, my getting married is not just because father says so. It's also because of my own political ambition. I also have political ambition, but I turned down every single man father suggested because I think that if we have to get married, it should, it should be together. Look, can you listen to me, Beryl? You are my sister. You're my only sister. You just destroyed my world. Look, I love you. What's your problem? Look, I, I, I... Don't give me that excuse, please. Look, I understand how you feel, okay? You are my sister. I'll love you till I die, all right? You destroyed my world. You're hurting me. I allowed that relationship because I felt it was necessary for your public appearance. But you went ahead and proposed to her. I hate look, you. Look, look, stop this. Stop. I hate this. Stop it. What is going on here? Honey, what is going on? Honey, it's nothing, okay? Myself and Pearl just had a little quarrel. Okay. Yeah, come, come. I hope it's not serious. Eh? <laughs> hey! I will 
trespass you. You can't do nothing. I will trespass you. You can't can do anything. Cowards. Boys, get out of this place. Get, get her out of this place. Get her out of this place. Excuse me. Just take please. her out. If you, if you touch me. Take her out. Sister, I swear, poverty is a crime. Look at what power can do to one. Haven't you heard the saying, power intoxicates and absolute power intoxicates are absolutely. Haven't you heard it before? <laughs> Mother is even better. Look at who is talking. Look at who is talking. Everyone knows you are most stubborn, so it runs in the family blood. Sister. You are mother's child, you know that. Oh, Thompson, that's not my problem now. I need to get a job. A job that will elevate this family from this miserable status. <sighs> I swear, sister. With the way things are going, I think crime is the last option. Crime? You think anybody in this society cares if you're going to crime to make money? They don't care. All they glorify is the money. I'm not advising you to go into crime. I used to think like that before, but as it stands now, eh, I don't care. You know, I met this old man, and he sounded really kind. Which man? Please, what am I even saying? I have his complimentary card. Chief Thompson, that's his name. So, where did you meet this man? Do you know him? <gasps> Start up now, where did you meet this man? Do you know the man? <gasps> Who doesn't know Chief Lawson? This is Chief Lawson now. I can read, Thompson. I saw his name. Do you know him? I know this man now. So Who doesn't know Chief Lawson in this town? This man is a money bag. A very big time politician. Really? Sister, a touch from that man eh, will change our lives. Well, my sister, me, I'm hungry. So, mom. Apollonia has not really changed. My dear, she has not. A leopard, like you say, the color remains. But how could you entangle yourself with Apollonia in a confrontation? How could you do that? My dear, you will not understand. Apollonia, I cannot harm her. In any way, I cannot harm her because we are both under oath. It's true we can engage in physical fight, what's up the mouth, but not the one that can lead to the death of any of us. An oath? Yeah, my dear. 
Why, why would you do that with that kind of low life, ill mannered woman? Why would you do that? You will not understand. Apollonia is not exactly the kind of person you think she is. She's not a low class. She was only dealt by poverty and my betrayer. It happened a very long time ago. We've come a long way. Your betrayer? Yes, my darling. I am sorry. I am sorry, my darling. Yes, yes, what is it? Uh, there is one woman at the gate. She said her name is Kate and she's a nurse. Are you expecting someone, my darling? Yes, mom. Okay, tell her to come in. Okay, now. She's a lab attendant. I paid her to get me the result before he gets to the doctor's table. Why would you do that, my dear? Because I'm curious. <laughs> like mother, like daughter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it runs in the blood, I guess. Hey, the mother. Hey, hey. Nurse, how are you? Go, you can go, please. Okay, madam. Come here, sit down. Thank you. Okay. So, what's up? <laughs> Don't worry, she's my mother, she knows everything. Alright. Well, according to the blood test, both of you are compatible. Wow. In terms of the fertility test, you're complete as a woman. Whoa! <laughs> Mom, did you hear that? Your daughter is perfect. What were you expecting, my dear? What were you expecting? <laughs> did you expect any less? But there's a problem. Number one reason you must get married to Ramsey. I will not! What is your problem? What? Is this how this country you grow? You people suffer the money meant for, for the development of this nation. Huh? And yet you think that we continue to pray for a better tomorrow. My dear, why are you being so holy? I mean, why are you pretending to be so righteous? You are not even the finance minister. I mean, this is politics. In this country, money laundering has never been in news because we see it happen every day. I'm surprised Mr. President is associated with this thing. Look, let me warn you. You better stop this act of yours. Otherwise, the international community, I mean the whole world. I am a martyr. To hell with the good old days. To hell with our school days, Honorable Martins. Listen, I want you to tender your resignation letter in my office within the next 12 hours. And look, Honorable Martins, don't force me to disgrace you by removing you from office myself. Uh, uh, but Mr. President, I mean, it is true I rejected the money, but... The I told you that politics is not a game of the sense, but you wouldn't listen. We're doing okay before you accepted this appointment. Put yourself together, woman. Hey, Martin. Put yourself together. Put yourself together. Huh? Don't worry about it. Yes, yes. What is it? Yes, yes. Uh, sir, someone knocked on the gate. Yes. Before I go open, the person was nowhere to be found. Then uh, I, 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 I. Okay, let's let's something. let's have it. Open it. Open it. Open it. You can go back to your duty. Ever since I knew you, you have been a man of transparency and truth. And as such, I will not want a man like you to be wasted. Wasted? Hey, leave this country before 24. Lady, you are still young, very young, and you can make a difference if you choose to. Exactly, sir. I want to make a difference. That difference that can change the life of my family. Yeah. Well, you have all it takes. Everything decent enough to give you a very wonderful job. You have every qualification it takes to get a decent job. And that's why you're here. Yes, sir. That is why I'm here. May I ask you one single question, please? Very private, very private question. Yes, sir. Anything. Are you in a relationship with any young man? I 
I was, sir. We had our differences and I felt it's better I be alone. I can offer you a job in any of my companies, hoping you will think about it because it will gladden my heart. What I cannot change. I just hope this guy doesn't mess up this job. I'm trying, I pray, I pray. Because we have just a slim chance. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh. Is this that one? Trisha. Here it is. This is good. Now, I hope no one saw you when you were mounting the camera. No one. Are you sure? I had finished mounting the camera and the recorder by the time the doctor came in. Very good. Fortunately, I had a file I entered there with, so I used it as a decoy. Hmm. Yes, now. Okay. Now, I hope those things were uh, uh, perfectly hidden. Very well concealed. Good. Trisha. Yeah. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Meanwhile, I have a very important information, and I don't know if it is recorded in those tapes. Okay. The son of the president. Decision. Allow me marry the man. Leave me alone. Yeah. Leave you what, sister? Eh? Sister, look at you. You're young. You're very beautiful. Why would you want to end up in such a marriage? Hey, hey, hey. Better be careful. Ask me, oh, my, my son. Ask her. Eh? Just nine months she wants to stay with my sister in Abuja. This is the result. Mama, Hi. I am tired of living in abject poverty. Hi. I'm tired, Mama. We can't build a mansion in our heads living like this. Somebody has to make a change. Somebody has to make a sacrifice. And that is what I'm willing to do. I'm tired though. If both of you are not tired, I am tired. Sister, you're right. I understand your concern for our family. But sister, that man is way too old for you. 78! The man is even older than me. Your mother. Eh? My daughter becoming a second wife. Not just that. Getting married to an old man. Hi! Mama. I am the one making the sacrifice. I am the one making the sacrifice. Please, allow me to make it. Huh? Hey! Ah, come for. This one you are smiling and coming I to my house. Go. Welcome. My dear, remember I told you I want to join the team people? Yes. Uh, me, I want to join too. I want to join. Yeah. That's happened though. God has answered us. Yeah. He has answered us. I went to the market square and I saw a post on the wall. When I went and read, guess what I saw? Tell me. Mm. 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 Hollywood in collaboration with Nollywood. Bam! Hey! This one is a big one though. It's very big one. We invite you all to a movie audition. Mm. Then St. Matthew's Catholic Church Hall. Time is Hey! God has answered us. It has happened. God has answered mm -hmm. our prayers. I am going wait, wait, to wait, 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 wait. Mama, what are you even talking about, sir? Eh? Mama, you're too old for that now. Leave the woman alone. Don't you see old people in terms? Mama, do what makes sense. Tell him! Ah! <laughs> tell him! God has answered us. Yes, I was so happy when, when I saw you it. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you. We're talking about old. Yeah. Old people. They try movie people. I see them now. Those with white hair, are they not old? Those people that use their walking stick, are they not old? <laughs> I am going to join them, people. I want to be a movie star. Welcoming my senator. What is it that has bringing you in front of Iyala? Iyala, may you and your gods live forever. Amen. Iyala, you've never failed me. Your God has always been there for me. 
They have never disappointed me. And that is why I've come, Iyala, because there is a problem again. Iyala, my daughter is about to get married. Iyala, whether this marriage will hold or not, I don't even know. Iyala, that is why I've come to seek your face. Iyala, I want this marriage to work without a hindrance, great lady Iyala. Do you have their picture ring? Yes, Iyala, because I know you will be needing them. For me to prove him to you that the marriage is working. I said it already. You know I'm a young lady. I'll be happy if you can buy me the kind of kind that you are driving. Yeah, now. If you want me to buy me a car. And I think that is not a bad idea, Rin. Yala, you know me, you know me, Senator Joy, just like your God have never failed me. I won't disappoint you, just let this marriage work. Let this marriage work. Buying you this car, it's not a problem. I will even get you cars. You know me, Yala, the great Senator Williams, Joy Williams, you know. Senator. Ruru no de fido. Just make this work. Iyala. Oba no de go trust. Iyala, make this work. And you will see. It's not going to be one. It's not going to be two. You buy me, you don't show up on the car. I'm my mama go. Oh, I like the girl who. And you know what? You know what? Shala, 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 shala. So what are you doing here? I'm fine, Thompson. Just go back inside. How can you ask me to go back inside when my only sister is out here facing the sun? Tomorrow my husband comes to pay my diary. Sister, do you really love this man? You're not a child, Thompson. You know I don't. Then why torture yourself in marriage? He's a widow. He's rich, old, lonely, and close to his grave. Somebody has to make a difference in this house. I can't sit back and watch you suffer this way. Okay. So how will you face the man's daughter? I mean, the daughter of the first wife. Before I can take this kind of decision, don't you think I've thought about it? Okay, sister. I mean, you're my only sister and I love you so much. If this is what you've chosen to do, then I'm solidly behind you. Thank you. Thank you too. Please hurry up and leave this hand. I'm fine. My dear chief, you have formally made your intention known to us that you have seen a very pretty flower in our house, which we intend to come and pluck. Exactly. Uh, Polonia. Yes, ma'am. 
Exactly, this is the beautiful flower on the block from your house. Gosh. See, Nadia, I'm not just comfortable with this whole thing. Your husband is my childhood friend. He is like my brother. For how long will you keep blackmailing and forcing me into such abomination. For how long? Until when I'm done making babies for him, you connived and deceived me into getting married to him. It was all his idea. I told him to tell you the truth because I know you will definitely find out someday. But he kept pleading with me to fake the test results. I had no options because my hands were tied. At the expense of whom? You granted him his favor at the expense of me. Right now, you have to grant my own favor at his expense. Listen, at the snap of my finger, you will be on your way to jail. Yes. N Nadia, it hasn't gotten to that. I, are you this devilish? Come on. Of course, you know I'm not a devil. You know I am not a devil. I was an angel until you both turned me into a monster. Listen. Don't joke with my temper. Do you know what you do for a living? You deal on babies and that is illegal. Do you know that? Listen, I don't want problems. No wonder you have so much money without your father's help. I mean, you've been doing everything with yourself, with everything you want to do in life. I mean, you get it anytime you want. I mean, on a very good day, what should I be doing with a monkey like you? I had no option and that's why I'm here with you. I mean, you should be thanking your God that this is a grace. This is, this is all you've been longing for, to have a woman like me, isn't it? Come on. What's that look on your face? We're in the process of making a baby. And I would want you to smile. I wouldn't want my child to come with this kind of face. What? Hey, take that thing off. And let's dig it. I'm talking to you. Take this thing off and let's dig it. Don't. Take it off and let's dig it. No, face that side, I don't want to look at you, please. Really? She look dirty. Listen, look, I have thought about this, okay? I have critically analyzed this. I have pondered on it properly, and I know it's not going to be a good end. But you, have you just stopped? Have you stopped just for once, just for once to think about your involvement in this? Have you thought about the consequence? What consequence? Who cares? What do you mean you don't care? What do you mean? Do you know what this could do to father's office and to our family if it blows up? And who's going to tell you? Of course you know I won't betray you. But please, my sister, come on, you also go to church. Hell is real. Excuse me. Every human can go to hell for all I care. If hell is your destination, I'm not part of your journey. We started this thing together, and we must remain in it together. The great movie star. It's amazing that the entertainment industry has made you very famous within a short time. <laughs> and I am so glad to, be, uh, to have you as an in-law. Mm -hmm. I am really feeling very great. <laughs> very great. Well, it is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in my eyes. And all things belong to him. But now that you are a star, I hope you will no longer fight uh, Mazibu Day. So to do I was used to. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. Though I still have an unfinished business with Senator Joy, 
I have nothing to say for now. Oh, speaking of Senator Joy, <laughs> is she still running the gubernatorial race? Of course, yes. Most especially now that she has the backup of Mr. Preston. Hmm, I see. I summoned you here for a very important issue. Okay. And my darling wife, sweetheart, we'll talk at this point. Okay. Now, oh. Mama, due to your popularity, my husband has decided that you should run for governor. Forget about money. Or have you forgotten whom I am? The money bag himself. And by the special grace of God, I am with billions of naira, so don't worry about I love this money. Man. <laughs> and as for Senator Joy, all I need is someone with an overwhelming popularity that the people can accept openly. And that person is you. Wow. It's amazing. <laughs> It's a lot to do. Well, I never thought of it. I can see that you all thought of it before even consulting me. Problem. I say, yes. Oh. <laughs> So, uh, my party will soon summon you. And uh, remember, you have an unfinished business with Senator Joe. Oh, I can't forget that. Why, I have one with Mr. President. I can't forget that. I will explore every means to get at it. <laughs>
order the gate man to shut the gate. Oh, what? What? This one is becoming unbearable. Excuse me. What? And what is the meaning of all this, Sonia? That, my dear, happens to be an order. By who? By me. By, by you. By you. Driving a car that's not her father's. You have no right to order me not to go at Sonia. You have no freaking right. Have you forgotten that this is my father's house? Nobody's contesting that with you. Just as you wouldn't contest that this is my husband's house. Error number one, I didn't ask you not to go out. I am only reminding you of what my husband said. Which is? Which is? That this baboon here cannot drive any of the cars. If those cars must be driven, it's going to be driven by either me or my husband, the handsome one up there. Can you imagine? Can you imagine this second-handed wife? Sonia, are you going out now? Are you? Get away from see, here. See, I should see what I'm telling you. Get away from here with your winter boots. One death shall never end. I said get away from here with your winter boots. It's not snowing. Why are you wearing a winter boots? Imagine Sonia. Can, 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 you, can you see this? A local classless common firewood feature like this. Just a little privilege. And you're already acting like a queen. I am a queen before my husband, my dear. And if you have a problem with that, go to the nearest pharmacy and get a drug, a suicide drug. Drink it so you can join your parents. You don't belong here. What? What are you saying? You don't belong here. Did you just insult my mother? Yes. 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 Yes.
I have waited too long for a male child and I wouldn't want to have any sort of complications. I need to ask you a question. And I want you to answer me no matter how irritating or annoying that question is. I'm all yours, so feel free. Are you getting younger? No. So if you die, who will inherit your property? But that is preposterous. Who are you going to give your property to when you die? My son. You and my daughter Serena. Then right in here. My love. Why are you sounding like this? I'm not going to die yet. I'm not trying for you to die either. But after what happened in this house today, it means that anything can happen. Huh? You want your son to die of poverty, to be frustrated? God forbid. I will surely instruct my lawyer to commence that at once. Write it at once. Because when a woman is going to deliver, anything can happen. Some make it, some don't make it. I need to be certain that my son's future is guaranteed. You will make it. And you give me a healthy, beautiful son who will bear my name and I will be proud of him. I will be proud too. First and foremost, write the will so that I am sure that my child is going to be safe. After what your daughter did in this house today, I cannot guarantee the safety of my child in this terrain. I can't. Particularly that tyrant. That thing like a tyrant. Well, you know I'm capable and I'll be able to take care of everything. Just trust me. God has been cruel to me. So cruel. Everything desirous of a man, everything material I have. Good looks. Money. Power. I'm the president's son. But that which completes a man I do not possess. Potency. God has made me important. The question is why? Why? See, Ramsey, will you stop this for goodness sake? I told you to tell her the truth, but you would not listen. It would have been a far easier by now. Both of you would have been married, and the only option left would be adoption. What a shame. I say, what a shame. All the girls I slept with without protection in the past, none of them, not even one, has come to me to say that she is pregnant. What a shame. Hello, Dr. Ken. Yeah, my beautiful queen. The only lady that ever the spirit at birth. How are you today? I'm doing good. God has been handsome. Jordan, are you alright? Do I look alright to you? Ah, I know what the problem is. The matter is because your wife traveled outside the country to deliver your child. Uh, uh, Ramsey, I will have to leave now. Hmm? We'll talk about this later. No need play acting, Ken. She already knows. Oh, I see. Um, do you also know who is responsible for her pregnancy? No, I don't, but I know my brother's health condition. What baffles me is that another man, another man caught my wife pregnant. Caught Nadia pregnant and, and she keeps acting. Acting to see if I am responsible for her pregnancy. She must think I'm one stupid, big, fat fool. See, the problem here is both of you are playing a fast one on yourselves. You are hiding your health condition while she pretends she doesn't know and cheats on you just to make babies. I swear to God, I swear. 
swear to God, if I catch that man, if I get that man who got my wife pregnant, I will slug a bullet into his brain. I swear down. Uh, uh, Ramsey, see, you just have to relax, okay? Um, I better leave now. We'll talk about this later. I really need to attend to a very, very important issue. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye, Dr. Ken. Why are you doing this? Didn't I tell you to be strong? This whole thing is killing me. This, this whole thing is destroying me. See, very soon everything will be unraveled. But for now, at least, we have to do everything possible not to let this out for daddy's sake. Okay? The great youth of the state. Grace. The great powers of the state. Grace. The great, great, great youth of the state. Grace. The great, great mamas of the state. Grace. I greet you all. I thank you, the Honorable Commissioner for Youth and Sports, for the opening remark. Sir, you are welcome. Thank you. But before we go on, I would like to invite two great women of the state to come and give their brief remark. And the fourth woman I am going to invite, she is someone who has made us very proud in the entertainment world. The woman I'm talking about, she's not any other person. She's a woman of substance and class, a, a, a mother with a heart of gold. Ladies and gentlemen, jam your hands together as I invite to you our one and only music. Commissioner for Youth and Sports. 
Dr. Ferdinand Oche, representing the governor. Honorable members of uh, the State Council, our leaders, Honorable Chairman of the Youth. Ladies and gentlemen, I also greet you, Honorable Senator George. It is indeed a wonderful day. This is a day set out to remind this great country of our leaders of tomorrow, the youths. A day set out to celebrate the future of this country in the hearts of the youths and our mothers. I am also a mother and a widow. I understand and get the start of a child. I also hear the cry of a youth. I have tasted the bitterness of poverty. I have tasted the hunger and agony that go with it. And as I'm here today, I am going to make this world a better place in any possible way I can for all of you. I am out to vie for the gubernatorial seat of the state. I assure you, your votes will be honored. Yes. 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 And yes. your vote will yield good governance for this wonderful you state. You, you will never regret it. I know what it is to make you happy. We have been together. We have suffered together. So we are going to enjoy it together. Yes. Great youths. Yes. Great mothers. Yes. Great people of this great city. The next person to speak to you is Senator Joy William. Man, you are welcome. Put your hands together for her. I am honored to be here, right in front of you people. The Honorable Commissioner for Youth and Sports, I greet you, sir. The Honorable Members of the State represented, I greet you. Honorable Commissioner, my Abu mothers represented here, I greet you. My Abu body leader of the youth, I also greet you. You're welcome. The youth, they're great youth of our state. Yes. They're great mothers of our state. Yes. The Abu bodied young men of our state. Yes. Today is indeed a great day. A day we celebrate our youth. And just like every other year, we have come today to remember this day that is always important to our hearts. A day we remind our youth and their mothers that they are indeed very, very important to our hearts. And that is why I am here to join you as we celebrate today. A day we remind you, the, the youth of our state and our country in general, that your thoughts is always in our hearts. A day we remind our leaders, because you are our leaders of tomorrow, the youth, yes. that even the old has hope because you are alive. And the life, we have to put your hope in it because your life is in your hand. Your future lies in your hand. And it lies in your power. Your power is what your vote. 
Come next election, as I go into government house. I don't know. I don't know what else you want. But I am telling you that you are blessed when you have a mother like me. The Senate representing you. I'm assuring you that come next election as I'm going to come ahead. Like the address told you. It says you are hungry. I don't know about that. Our youth are not hungry. I know that. Our youth are not poor. I don't know about you. You confess it. You, you have it. There's power in our tongue. You say it, so be it. If you confess this poverty, fine, so be it. She has just said poverty all her life. All she knows is poverty. And that is why she's rubbing it on every other person. But I am here saying that I know my youths are not hungry. We are poor and hungry. We are poor and hungry. We are poor and hungry. Excellency, sir. Thank you for your understanding and concern. Thank you. 
you think like talking about dance to blackmail me? We take you anywhere. What are you talking about? So you you can't even remember anymore. You cheap blackmailer. Oh, that. Uh, I can see you have more enemies than you have. Right. I don't have time such frivolities. All right, hey, 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 Apollonia, don't just get in them to that car quickly. You think you can do all this? You think you can do all this? You can say whatever you like. You child seller. What did you just call me? You help me now. You don't want to you sold your time. You sold your time. You sold your time. You sold your time. Let me feed you. 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 Have you forgotten? You dare remind me of that. Good. Good, it's painful, right? You can run that. your mouth. We all have skeletons in our cupboard. You have skeletons. No, this is just the I beginning of things, Apollonia. Wretched idiot like you. They just told you what you are. Stark illiterate. Wretched widow. Come, let me teach you a lesson. I will feed you. Are you married? Wait for me, are Apollonia. You wait for me. Wait for are me. You, you can't sing nothing yet. You are a cheat. <laughs> you are in the I Senate as a cheat. cheat. Don't worry. The law will soon catch up with you. Stark illiterate. Just do it and see. Go, go look for your child. Go and look for your child. You saw. Do you have a child? Do you have a child? Do you have a husband? Free woman. Go and look for your child, Apollonia. Go and look for your child and stop black money people. Yeah, to the fall of uh, Senator Joy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see how she and uh, that uh, Mr. President will get out of this mess. I'm telling you, the evidence are so overwhelming. Hmm. But how do you get all of this information? <laughs> Mr. Abed, yeah. I told you in this game politics, I'm a mogul versatile and well grounded uh, each time I want to dig information about anybody it's not my worry are you sure I'm safe from all this uh, no 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 come on come on come on you don't need to worry I told you we both have a common interest here to bring down Senator Joy Williams and her Mr. President and so as you can see we are on the same page so you don't need to worry about anything hmm. but Mr. President is a very smart man. How don't you think he can get his in-law, the senator, out of all this no, mess? No, no, no. He, he might. He might try that. But that is just the beginning. Just the beginning. You know, funny enough, they confronted Apollonia, thinking she was the one behind all this blackmail. Oh. It's quite obvious. That she has many enemies she cannot count. I love that. I love that. I love that. You know, he feels is a smart person. So we shall see who is smarter. I assure you, we shall teach the president a lesson he will never forget in a hurry. <laughs> ah. Now, I called you here of my own volition. I want to know is everything all right? between you and your father? Barrister. Yes. I want to believe that all is well between us. Well, you know that I'm not just your father's lawyer. I am also your uncle. And your mother was a very good woman. Thank you very much, Barrister. Good. Remember I told you that I called you here of my own volition. Do not let your father know about this meeting. Besides, it is against the modus operandi of this profession. But I'm doing all this because of what your mother did for me, training me in school. Listen, your father has asked me to change the world. And I'm afraid it doesn't favor you. Sir. Yes. Sorry, what did you just say? You heard me. Your father has asked me to change the will. And it doesn't favor you. <laughs> I appreciate it. 
appreciate, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And I promise I will not breathe a word like this to you. Fine. Thank you. Take care. God of mercy. You know I was against that marriage right from the onset. But you said your father needed a male child and a companion. Now he has one. See what he's doing to you. That witch. That witch hasn't even given birth to her godforsaken male child. Yet, my father is already treating her like a goddess. What do you expect? What do you expect? Hmm? Men are overgrown babies. <laughs> I'm not a monk. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not like I'm laughing at you. But you can do something about it if you want to. Are you suggesting that we kill somebody? Even at that? Even at that? No, 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 no. Don't worry. I have a plan. You will recover all you've lost. That I can assure you. But you have to cooperate with us. Baby. No, oh, baby. You've not told me about the plan. Don't worry. Don't worry. I will let you into the plan. Your cousin should not worry. Cheryl, girl. Go take care of everything. Just relax. This man, I have the keys. Go. Ah! Ah! Ooh. Madame. Ah. Madame, what is it? Don't see the baby's Don't see! Don't see! What is it? Don't see! 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 Don't Don't sit fast! I'm grateful to God. 
It's just that I told my husband I was having a boy, not a girl. Mm -hmm. That's what the scam said. I know, I know, but all the same, you just have to cheer up. This is your first child. You definitely get another one. Huh? Cheer up. <laughs> Mommy, look at the baby. Did you see her fingers? Oh God, I thank you. I feel like eating her up. Come on. Her <laughs> cheeks are turning red. <laughs> oh my God. You have to appreciate God's gift first. See how beautiful this girl is. <laughs> wow, Marilo, <laughs> this is great today. So that I had to rush immediately. I heard the news. How is my baby boy doing? Oh, it's not a boy. It's a girl. Beautiful girl like that. Look at her. She's so pretty. She's an angel. <laughs> Who oh, told me this guy showed it's a boy? How come he's a girl? That's what they said. It was a boy from the sky. How can you lie to me of this magnitude? No, I wasn't lying. I was telling the truth. Oh it, was like, it was a boy on the sky. And I, I don't know what happened. My love, let's appreciate God's gift first. This baby is so pretty. She's my first grandchild. Oh my God. <laughs> She's pretty. She's an angel. It's okay, my daughter. Don't say that kind of a thing. I am very sure of what I'm saying. No, no, no. Please. <laughs> my child. Don't say my that. Child. Don't say that. Do you know the implication? I heard the no. losses. No. I heard them. No. I am very sure of what I am. Her Majesty the Queen. The male child producer, the madame of our time. <laughs> oh no, it's a girl and not a boy. Oh sweetheart, how come you gave birth to a baby girl and not a boy? <laughs> Can you both please get out of here before I call security? Get out of here now. Calm down, calm down. Don't tell me you're angry with God for giving you a female child. Don't mind this frustrated mother. Who doesn't even appreciate God for his blessings? Get out of here, you fools! Get out! Hey, 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 just calm down. Breathe in. You might have a high blood pressure. <laughs> Please, let's go. Loser. Anyway, congratulations. We'll see you at home. <laughs> This woman, why? No, that's none of your business. You should know, and the less you know, the better for you. Here's your pay. smarter than this because you should know that if anything from you happens to me 
the son of the president will hear of how you've been sleeping with his wife. The public will hear all the atrocities you've been committing under the name of medical practice. So be a good boy. Look, look here. I'll show you that this is not the end of it. I'll get to you. You're welcome. Thank you. I want you to move straight to the boys' quarters till I can figure out how to deal with the lies you told me. My in law, why are you behaving as if a female child has become a curse? Why? My love, this is how you treat your wife who went to the hospital to deliver your child? I would have welcomed you much better if you were not a liar. But I don't want to see you anywhere in this house. Move out. I know. Mm. Do you have the keys to the boy's quarter? Where are you coming from, Mama? I went to talk with your husband. How did it go? I told him to have patience that this is just your first child, that you will probably have other children. But he said he has lost faith in you. And then I asked him about our political ambition. And he said uh, it has nothing to do with the present situation. Mama, have you asked yourself what your son in law does for a living? He's an importer now. Importer, exporter. Eh? Lie, Mama. Drugs. He's into drugs. A drug baron. A drug lord. That's what he is. As old as he is, I might have suffered. I took risk for that man. I sacrificed so much for that man. I carry drug in my body for this man. It was only by grace that this drug did not melt inside me. And now he wants to discard me just because of a male child? No. No. so good and I will do everything to make sure I do not go back to poverty but I cannot kill you I cannot mama I have come this far I will not go back
my daughter, I know a woman. Her name is Iyala. Many big men and politicians go to her for powers and spiritual help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you very much. Sure, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. I'll, I will relate to my babe. Let's know and let's move. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. And who was that? Oh. Um, my ear in the street just told me that the son of the president had just informed the chief of security for a household. What do you think? I'm interested in the father, not the son. Come on. Yeah. Sure, but... Don't you think that, as an insider, you are privileged to have some information that will aid in destroying the father? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I need to see Iyala for fortification. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that, that's very correct. Oh, wait, wait. I want the son. I want the father, not the son. Babe, I'm jealous. Come mm -hmm. on, babes. You don't mm -hmm. have to be. You know we're in this together, right? Yeah, but well, we didn't discuss the father son, did we? Mm. Mm -hmm. You're jealous. Iba! Iba! Yeah! Iba! Iba ti wa yi ojo! Iba ti wo o! Osan gagan maraki! Kutu kutu a wo uro! Iba yi yami o shere mani fya! Akpani ma wagu! Olo ki ki olu! O wa ni mo mi shala sholo! A wa ni no mi shala sholo! Take. You will be putting it in his food and you will be pouring it on the floor for him to pass it. If he eating the food, he will be loving you. He will be loving you. Yale. Thank you very much. I've never had any cause to doubt you. Thank you. You may please go. Yeah, Iba! Yeah, Iba! Tira, Tira. Iyala the Great. Tira, my baby. <laughs> big guests doing big things. Iyala the Great. Mm -hmm. He are the greatest great. Mm -mm. May your days be long. I you go follow enjoying the long life, sir. Amen. So what is it you want from me today, Tira? Iyala, those two women that just left here, what exactly did they come to do? Tira, what is your concern? See, eh? I'm a business in princess, you know. Ah. Iyala the Great, business in princess. Listen, one of those women is my uncle's wife, and the other 
is my mother in law. Now, I want you to give me a charm that will neutralize whatever they came here to do. Sarah, <laughs> Sarah, that will not go to But anyway, I, I'll be collecting money because it's loving charms I, I do for them. How much? I'm collecting 300,000. <laughs> 300,000. I'll pay you twice whatever they paid you. That's to say, I'm paying you 600,000 naira for you to neutralize whatever they came here to do. Huh? Yes. Tira. Tira, can you revert, or let me say, can you revertable that thing that you have spoken now? I said I will pay you 600,000 naira. Hey! 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 Tira! You ready? You go pay me? Hey! 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 You see, I don't tell you this, Tira. Now better somebody. But I know they believe me. You see what this is not doing me now? No problem. Tira, see it. Now like this will drop. You know, see money don't enter this matter now. And you know, see me, me grade my body. I like, I like money where, where. Yeah. See how this my body where you see now feel, now feel now. You know what's it that you call feel now? <laughs> hey, hey! Hmm. Tira. Here. This is 600,000 Hey! 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 See better people. <laughs> hey! Oh, Tira, Tira, you won't give me, you won't scatter my head. <laughs> See, I like this. Take. Take. You will be spraying it on the floor that it will be passing. Hmm? And you will be putting small in the food that you will be eating. Is that all? See. All the juju I do for them. It no go work. Mm. No go work. Thank you very much. Now, to the main reason why I came here. <laughs> I want to embark on a revenge mission. And I want you to fortify me because I want to see the president. That will not be a problem. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Baba for my Lord, you are here. Oh, yeah. Tira. This one is strong, you. It's strong, you cannot handle in this one. I'm prepared to do anything. I mean, anything. Hey. <laughs> Tiran, Tiran, if you won't do this thing, me say you will be looking for money so that we can go to Indians, so that we can we can do everything for you. You go, come be strong, kakaraka. Like me, India, Indians, yes. Okay, see. Listen, Yala. Money is not a problem at all. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Hi! Hey! 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 Tira! Tira! you are out now. You are out now. You are out Here. I got some designer clothes. Me? Yeah. Hey! Tira! Tira! Skill me! Oh! Skill me! Oh! Tira! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See, let me tell you something. If anybody abusing you, ha, Tira, tell me. If they are abusing you, tell me. Little one and only, I will not do not this life for my
Black Oga.